Good day, fellow Earthlings. Have you ever seen a pinecone walk? No? Well, meet the pangolin, nature's very own walking pinecone. This curious creature is a part of our big, beautiful, and sometimes bizarre Earth family. With its armored body, long snout, and even longer tongue, the pangolin is a sight to behold. Its unique appearance isn't just for show, though. Every bit of the pangolin, from its sharp claws to its scaly exterior, tells a story of survival and adaptation. But that's not all. These fascinating creatures lead a life that's as unusual as their looks. From their diet to their homes, everything about the pangolin is a delightful surprise. So are you ready to dive into the world of pangolins? I hope you are because it's going to be one wild ride. So buckle up for we're about to embark on a fascinating journey into the life of the pangolin. Imagine a creature from a fantasy world covered in scales with a long tongue and even longer tail. Voila, you have a pangolin. Let's get to know this peculiar creature. Pangolins are small mammals, about the size of a domestic cat. But don't let their size fool you. They are armored with a coat of hard, overlapping scales made of keratin, the same stuff your hair and nails are made of. This makes them the only mammals in the world to be so covered. These scales act like a natural shield, protecting them from predators. When threatened, they roll into a tight ball, their scales acting as an impenetrable armor. So if you ever play hide-and-seek with a pangolin, be prepared to lose. But wait, there's more. Pangolins have a secret weapon, a tongue that's longer than their body. They use this super tongue to slurp up ants and termites, their favorite snacks. This tongue is so long it actually starts deep in their chest and can be extended up to a foot and a half. Now that's a tongue twister. And let's not forget about their tail. It's prehensile, meaning they can use it to hang from trees, just like a monkey. They also have sharp claws, perfect for digging into anthills and termite mounds. And when they walk, they tuck their front claws under their body to protect them from wear and tear. They walk on their hind legs and tail, a bit like a tiny T-Rex. How cool is that? So there you have it, the pangolin. A combination of an armadillo, an anteater, and a monkey, with a dash of dinosaur for good measure. It's no wonder that these creatures have been around for 80 million years, outliving the dinosaurs. They are truly a marvel of evolution. So now you've met the pangolin, a creature as fascinating as it is unique. If pangolins could talk, they'd tell tales of a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Yes, they've been around for that long. Now let's take a step back, about 80 million years to be precise, to when pangolins first made their appearance on the stage of life. Imagine, these creatures have been around since the late Cretaceous period. They've seen the world change, from the age of the dinosaurs, to the rise of humans. Pangolins are one of the oldest mammal groups on Earth. They've evolved in unique ways to survive, in an ever-changing world. One of their most distinct features is the hard, protective scales covering their bodies. These scales, made of keratin, the same stuff our hair and nails are made from, act as a suit of armor against predators. When threatened, they roll up into a tight ball, presenting their sharp scales to any would-be attacker. Over millions of years, pangolins have also developed a specialized diet. These critters primarily eat ants and termites. They have long, sticky tongues, perfect for reaching into ant hills and termite mounds. Their strong sense of smell helps them locate these colonies, and their powerful claws are perfect for digging into them. Now where did pangolins decide to call home? They're found in diverse habitats across Africa and Asia, from the thick rainforests to the arid savannas. They've adapted to a variety of environments, showcasing their resilience and adaptability. And let's talk about longevity. These creatures are no short timers. They live up to 20 years in the wild, a testament to their survival skills. It's not uncommon for a pangolin to outlive other mammals of similar size. While pangolins have evolved and survived through millions of years, they now face new threats. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's marvel at the journey of these fascinating creatures through the epics. So you see, pangolins are ancient creatures carrying with them stories of a world long past. Ever wondered where the pangolin hangs its scales at the end of the day? Or what it munches on for lunch? Well, wonder no more. Let's take a stroll through the world of the pangolin. Imagine a place where the temperature is just right, not too hot, not too cold. Welcome to the tropical and subtropical regions of Asia and Africa, where our scaly friends call home. Picture lush forests, grasslands, and even savannas. It's here that the pangolin burrows into the ground or nestles in the hollows of trees, creating a cozy hideaway. Now what about lunch? The pangolin is a picky eater but not in the way you might think. Its diet consists mostly of ants and termites. Yes, you heard that right. Using their long, sticky tongues they can slurp up several hundred insects in a minute. Imagine that. 
They are nature's pest control, keeping the insect populations in check. But wait, there's more. Ever wondered how long these fascinating creatures live? Well, in the wild, a pangolin can live up to 20 years. That's right, two whole decades of scuttling around, rolling up into a ball when scared, and munching on ants and termites. But it's not all fun and games. These solitary creatures are mostly nocturnal, meaning they sleep during the day and are active at night. So while we're all tucked up in bed, the pangolin is out there, foraging, exploring, and living its best life. So there you have it, a day in the life of a pangolin. From its perfect home in tropical and subtropical regions, to a diet that would make any ant quake in its boots, to a lifespan that's longer than you might have thought. It's truly an extraordinary creature, living a life that's both unique and fascinating. And that, dear friends, is a day in the life of the pangolin. Exciting, isn't it? But all is not well in the world of pangolins. Our scaly friends are in danger and they need our help. Pangolins, despite their armored exterior, are vulnerable creatures. They carry the unfortunate title of being the most trafficked mammal in the world. Their scales, believed to have medicinal properties in some cultures, and their meat, considered a delicacy, make them a prime target for illegal wildlife trade. This trafficking has led to a sharp decline in their population, pushing them to the brink of extinction. All eight species of pangolins, from the giant pangolin of Africa to the Philippine pangolin of Southeast Asia, are now considered threatened. This is a grave concern, not just for the pangolins but for the ecosystems they inhabit as well. You see, pangolins are nature's pest controllers. They consume vast amounts of insects, helping to maintain a balance in our environment. So, what can we do to help? First, awareness is key. The more people know about these unique creatures and the threats they face, the better equipped we are to protect them. We can also support organizations that work tirelessly to combat wildlife trafficking and protect pangolin habitats. Another way to help is by making responsible choices. If we choose not to buy products made from pangolin scales or meat, we can reduce the demand that fuels their illegal trade. It's a simple step, but one that can make a big difference. Lastly, we can use our voices to advocate for stronger wildlife protection laws and stricter enforcement against illegal wildlife trade. Together, we can create a safer world for our scaly friends. Our actions today can determine the fate of pangolins tomorrow. Let's not allow these fascinating creatures to become mere footnotes in the annals of natural history. Let's give them a chance to thrive, to continue their insect munching, to roll into their protective balls when threatened, and to amaze us with their unique charm. Remember, every creature has a role to play in our world, and we must do our part to ensure their survival. Think you've become a pangolin pro? Well, it's time to put that knowledge to the test. Let's dive into our three-question quiz. Question 1. What's unique about a pangolin's diet? Is it A. They only eat insects, B. They are vegetarians, or C. They only eat at night? If you answered A, you're absolutely right. Pangolins love munching on ants and termites. Moving on to question 2. Where do most pangolins call home? Is it A. The rainforests of South America, B. The deserts of Australia, or C. The forests and grasslands of Africa and Asia? If you guess C, you're on a roll. Lastly, question 3. Are pangolins endangered? If you said yes, you've hit the nail on the head. Many pangolin species are unfortunately threatened due to poaching and habitat loss. And that concludes our journey into the world of pangolins. Remember, knowledge is power, and you now have the power to make a difference for our scaly friends.